Hello, and welcome to Catalan's introduction to AutoCAD 2010. Over the next few sessions, I'm going to be introducing you to some of the new features and functionality that this latest release brings to your fingertips. Now in this first session, let me allow you to be one of the very first people to have a look at this brand new interface. When I say brand new, it's very similar to that of 2009, but for those of you that haven't yet 2009, this could all seem very scary, and you might be thinking, what's going on here? Well don't worry, this is why I'm here. I'm going to hold your hand and help you through, showing you what most of these things do. So first of all, one of the main things that you might be thinking is, where's the toolbars? Now obviously across the top of the screen, that looks a little bit like a toolbar, but obviously it's not. It's what we call a ribbon. Now it's a new way that AutoCAD is using the toolbars and all of your different tools and commands. It's quite intuitive and it's quite self-explanatory once you start using it a little bit. On the Home tab just here, we've got all of our drawing commands, modified commands, which is the same that was on the modified toolbar. Here we have all our layering tools, annotation tools, block tools, etc. etc. And as we go through our different tabs, we'll see that different commands are linked to those. Obviously in insert we've got our blocks, attributes, referencing. We'll go into some of these details a little bit later because there's some nice new tools and features involved in that. Importing, etc. And to annotate we have all of our text, dimensions, parametric, well this is a nice new one. This is a definite new feature that comes in with AutoCAD 2010. I'll show you that at a later date. Under view, we've got all of our UCS commands, um, how we view, basically for a few 3D viewing, sorry. Under manage, we've got a few tools. Here, this is a nice new one, it actually came in in 2009. Um, it's called an action recorder. Now, what we do, we can use this to actually record a list of commands that we do to create a macro, and this can save you time in the future by not having to repeat those commands. Again, we can show you this at a later date. Under, under output, again, it's so as it says, it's where we do our output. It's plotting, publishing, and previewing. Okay, just here, well, you might be thinking, where's the menu bar gone? Well, that's kept just here. If you click on the A, they're simply just here. Got all of our tools just here. Now next to it we've got what we call our quick launch buttons. Hover over it, you see it's just our quick new, open. Just some of the useful commands that you could use at any time and they're just there at the touch of a fingertip. Let's look around the screen even further. Okay, now down the bottom, just here. Where these are, obviously we've got our polo, polar commands, our snap commands, etc. Now that's the way they used to look, I've changed them to that because that's the way I like them, but straight out of the box they'll come looking like this. Okay, which is quite nice, it's, I, I don't like it so much like that, so I just change it back. But again, like most things in AutoCAD, it's easily customizable. One of the good things I like it about it as well, is that if there's any there that you don't use very often, like for example, I don't use grid very often, I can simply right click on here, go to display, and turn off grid and it will disappear. Down here we have our workspace settings. A simple click of a finger, we can take our workspace to view something else. For those of you that don't like the ribbons, we can always flick it back to the old AutoCAD classic way of view. Not that I'd recommend it. Now going back to ribbons, one of the things I really like about ribbons is it's very intuitive. It helps you along as you're working. For example, just here I'm going to click on multi-line text and I'm going to drag my wing. As you can see, straight away the ribbon changes. It creates a new one. Now this looks more like a traditional word processor like Word and it allows you to start typing and doing all of the things that you can do in Word. Okay? You've got your simple um, paragraphs, you can change the way it looks, you've got your bullet points. It really is quite good and it allows you easy use and connection to other products like, and like Word. Simply close that there. Okay, so that concludes our first session on AutoCAD 2010. I will bring you another session later. I hope this helps. I look forward to talking to you again. Thank you. Bye bye.